Hi, I'm Christy Chapman and I'm the Special Education Coordinator here at Nicholas County Schools and today I'm going to read to you Growing Vegetable Soup and it's written and illustrated by Lois Ellert. Um, I picked this book because we're all getting ready to plant our gardens and this is all about planting gardens and how they grow and what you can do with them after they are ready to harvest. So looking forward to reading it to you. Growing Vegetable Soup, written and illustrated by Lois Ellert. Growing Vegetable Soup. Dad says we are going to grow vegetable soup. We are ready to work and our tools are ready too. They have a rake, a shovel, and a hoe. I like this book because it labels everything so you'll have to look for the labels on all the things. We are planting the seeds. Here's a seed package and you have to dig a hole and then here are all the different seeds they're planting. Green bean seeds, pea seeds, corn seeds, zucchini squash, and carrot seeds. And a garden glove if you don't want to get your hands dirty. And all the sprouts. Oh, look at all the sprouts they have here. Are potato eyes, so when you plant potatoes they have to have little eyes so they'll grow. A tomato plant, onions, a pepper plant, cabbage, and broccoli. This is called a trowel. It's like a little mini shovel and giving them water. So here are all the seeds that they're watering. Lots of things there. And waiting for the warm sun to make them grow. Look at all the things growing. Oh, there's a weed. They'll have to pick that one later. And grow. It's interesting to watch how plants grow because they start changing and getting Lots of things. Some grow taller, some grow on the ground, some grow underground, and grow into plants. So here they are ready to harvest. This is a pea plant and it needs a stake and a net so that the peas can grow on it and they're easy to pick. Here's the soil or the dirt. Zucchini squash growing and these are the blossoms on the squash, the flowers. We watch over them and weed. So weed means to pull out things that don't need to be there so everything else can grow. And even sometimes you get a worm. You need to pick those off too so they doesn't eat too much. This is called a hand grubber. I sometimes just call that a mini rake. Until the vegetables are ready for us to pick. So they have tomatoes and peppers they're picking and corn and they're putting them in a basket or dig up. So some things grow underground like carrots and potatoes. We call this a spading fork. It's like a little fork that you can put down on the ground and, and pick up your stuff. And carry them home. Then we wash them. Here they have a head of cabbage and an onion. And cut them and put them in a pot of water. So they have their soup pot and a ladle, that's like a big spoon they can get the liquid out of, a knife, and all the things they're going to put into their soup. Listen to what they're going to put in there and you give your teacher a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you think you'd like that in your vegetable soup. So there's broccoli, cabbage, green beans, potatoes, peppers, peas, tomatoes, zucchini squash, onion, corn, and carrots. Mmm, I think I would give a thumbs up to all those things. And cook them into vegetable soup. And this white stuff is supposed to be steam, so when you're cooking something on the stove and that steam is coming off, oh, it smells so delicious. At last, it's time to eat it all up. It was the best soup ever. There's their soup bowl and soup spoon. I think anything that you grow yourself makes, makes things delicious. And also what I like about when it says, and we can grow it again next year. But on the back of this book, it has a recipe to make your own vegetable soup and it tells you how to do it. So check out this recipe and make some vegetable soup of your own.